It was definitely going to flag me for that. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea to play some shanty songs. <laughs> I don't know why I did. Uh, I can use certain music. Anyway, how's it going, everybody? Sorry, I'm a little late. I got uh, I got a little idea. Uh, I was just literally scrolling on social media, and I came across a really fun post that had like a hundred and some. Oh, sorry. I had like a hundred and some vintage photos of blacksmith shops, um, mostly uh, probably like late 1800s, early 1900s. There might be some in like the as far as up as like the 30s or 40s, but really most of them are quite old. And I just thought it would be really fun to just kind of go over, look at some of them with everybody and, you know, basically see who was working at these shops, what kind of tools they were working, what were they making, go over it interact with some of the chat you guys certainly are encouraged to ask questions um and be as interactive as possible you know i just thought this would be fun i actually i can put let's put a little bit of a little bit of background music on <laughs> we can use anything from epic then sound and i shouldn't get flagged who knows probably will Oh, that's loud. All right. All right. So once again, this isn't. Uh, these aren't. Most of these are not photos that I have anything to do with. Um, it is literally well, a random post. I didn't even check to see who did it. Uh, somewhere on Facebook, and I just thought it was really cool to look at it. Hi, hi, hi! Welcome, welcome. It's probably still a little loud with the music, ain't it? All right. Let's check and see if this works. So this is the first one. They do VGM covers so badly that YouTube doesn't recognize them. <laughs> okay. So this is the first one. There's no title or anything. I would guess that this is probably like night looking at the shoes and the clothes and fairly modern button down shirts probably 20s 1920s really cool one of the cool things about this i hope you guys can see my pointer i wish i knew how to make my pointer bigger anyway one of the really cool things about this is the bellows see this guy right here the ball guy you don't hear any music Hold on, let me see. I should. Desktop audio. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. Do you hear it now? Yeah, now you see it. Now you, now you got some desktop audio. Right? Yeah, now we got his music. Pretty sure. All right, back to this. Okay, so one of the really cool things I think about this is the bellows. It's kind of got that, like, uh, accordion-style bellows. I don't really know what... You I don't even know the name of it, to be honest, but he's pumping it here, it pumps it up and down, blows down in. Really cool. It's kind of neat how you can see the uh, the exhaust going off at an angle. And don't know really what they're really making, but looks like they're having a hell of a time. Yeah, you can hear it a bit. I just wanted a little bit. I don't want like major music. Ah, this one's epic, right? <laughs> 
Got his hammers crossed on his hammer and tongs crossed on his chest, laying across too. I would assume that there is a board or something that you can't see, but a strong enough person could probably do that. He just looks so relaxed. I don't think so. What do you guys think? Chat, what do you think? Is this guy just laying between these two? Or is there like a board or a little piece of metal going across them? I think it's kind of cool to see the amble stumps with like, you know, kind of how Ilya did it. And a lot of people do it with their tooling and little brackets. and Planking before was a thing. That's right. This is the OG planking right here. And then I'm guessing these are little coal forges. I don't really know. Doesn't look like much. Looks like a pipe with a hole in it. But it could be also a coal forge. If you're just making little nails, you only need a tiny little foyer. Tiny little foyer you do. How's it going? What's up, Morpheus? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just going over some photos that I found, some vintage photos, and kind of talking about them. And if anybody has any questions or comments, we're going to go back and forth. If not, I'm just going to roll through. All right. This is pretty cool. I'm sure if I Google more into this, I could find out. But I doubt there are a lot of female blacksmith photos in this group that are really cool. This looks... I could be super wrong, guys. And I hate... I'm sorry to this woman if, if I am wrong. I assume this is a woman. I don't even know if it is, but I assume it is. I think this is a posed photo i don't think this has anything to do with her being an actual farrier but maybe i'm wrong fp dale horseshoe and blacksmith could be could just be a pretty photo of a hard working working woman i don't know i don't know much about it this one's sick this one's a little more modern as well Interesting apron. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, it's kind of. I thought this was pretty cool. You notice that there's a side table next to the anvil. And a lot of these photos, you're going to notice some sort of side table or stump with the tools they're working on next to the anvil, which is not something I see too often these days. I don't know. I also don't notice any full apron f uh, guys working much. They're just protecting their waist and, you know. They're jewels, which honestly, if you look at my work shirts, for the most part, I have right across my belly or like my waistline. That's where I get splattered with forging. I know the hat's sick. Both of their hats are cool. And if you look in the background, I think that's a nasal hammer. In a factory, you can tell it's not, it looks like post, post World War One, somewhere, World War Two, era, some electric stuff. Definitely some electricals going on. Big doors. Whatever it is, that's a pretty cool one. I like it. One thing also you're going to notice that people... Okay, a lot of... Let me ask you... Let me, let me go to this real quick. Let me ask you guys in the chat for anybody who's here. How many people here, when they think of a blacksmith, think of this? Beards. I have always just thought about beards. Now, there's guys like Jesse Savage that have, like, the classic mustache and stuff. But I always think that um, the horseshoe hat, right? I always think that um, blacksmith's beards, that's just kind of, that's just how a lot of blacksmiths these days go. So. But it's amazing the time period that was captured in these photos. There are almost zero beards. They're almost all mustaches i thought that was pretty cool just something i noticed Let's see if we can catch any beards i haven't been any beards yet anything else in this photo we should look at <sighs> nope pretty cool probably some sort of kiln oh no there's gas big johnson's gas forge type of thing right here with the door open pretty cool it's pretty common now i guess chat is pretty pretty far behind which kind of kind of bums me out i didn't realize it'd be that far behind this is kind of cool 
Uh, it looks medieval. Obviously, it's not because it's a photograph. But doesn't mean it's not old. You got monks of some sort. I guess these aren't monks. These are probably just clergy. Forging whatever it is they're forging. It looks like some sort of taper. Could be a big nail. I'm not sure. There's a couple photos of these guys working. Cool brick forge. Water trough. Pretty classic. I feel like also the the hammer and and the sledge are semi-modern. Like this is kind of like a faked old one. Not fake faked, but like not as old as it looks. No beards, no mustaches. Men of gold they are. Pretty cool photo. This one's very cool. This looks, uh, people, somebody who's better with fashion probably know, could, by the way, they're dressed immediately. I, I would guess, like, late 30s, probably. Once again, not a full apron, but he's got some sort of, like, little protective kind of a vest that he's wearing. But his apron is just around her waist, her too, him too. Kind of interesting. Nice anvil. They're clearly making horseshoes, as you can see here. But with a little more class than we do today. That was pretty cool, yeah. Just to catch up with chat, I might have to slow down and take a break in between photos just so people can comment. But I think this is kind of neat. At the different kinds of horseshoes, they're probably not making them here as much as altering them. But that's just a guess. I think if you make them, you're going to be wailing a lot harder. And this anvil is just connected with just literally a nail. That makes me feel like it's not heavy-duty work. This guy's just adjusting. Cool old forge. Kind of neat. He's striking. She's using the rounding hammer or the fairy's hammer. And they're just fattening out something. Pretty cool. There's a lot of photos in here of uh, women forging. Pretty neat. Railroad. Doing adjustments probably on wheels, it looks like. Or maybe even little cylinders. I mean, this what he's forging on is straight, though, which is odd. So, I don't know. Could be a key that locks into something. But pretty neat to see the portable setup. These forges are really, really cool. Kind of cool. Probably some sort of fire department. Actually, you know, I don't know. I can't quite make it out, but I think this this is military, I think. Not our military either. Off topic. Do these have do you have these hanging around your shop or just admiring ages past? I don't have them. Um these are just I found them randomly on social media and I thought they were cool enough to talk about and share. That anvil's about a foot too low. This one? That one. Yeah, probably. You know, one thing, he's standing up on planks because it's probably super muddy. The stand's down, so he's up a couple inches, you know. Just doing what they can do, I guess. And if they're just making adjustments and not doing heavy work, it's probably not that bad. But you're right. That is something to note. Take note of where anvils are placed. This one's spot on for them. This photo, I think, is super cool. It's not labeled, but it's pretty... Oh, you know, it might be labeled if we zoom out. Is this one labeled? Oh. So this one is the Ford shop at the USS Prometheus. So this is a naval on a naval ship, which you can kind of tell. Super freaking cool. We got naval uniform here. Long-handled uh, sledges. And just the overall, like riveted nature that is so cool i i i love this i think that is so cool i've never forged on a ship i'd love to but i just think that is super slick and they just got their forges basically or a hearth or i'm not sure what they're doing here but they just got fire brick stacked up doing what it is, whatever it is they're doing that looks super slick i love the bit i just love industrial big rivets like this Battleship look. Super, super cool. You can see a big chain link right here. So maybe they're 
making something from the wrought iron like we do today, right? We still make stuff from naval sh naval yard. Can I? Let me see something real quick, like. Can I? Actually, I'm just gonna switch to this. Can I get away with getting this a little bigger for this stream? I think so. I think so. All right. Am I gonna be okay or am I gonna get in the way of the photo? That's okay. I'll move it around if I need to. All right, next one. It's gonna take a while if I keep going this slow. Oh, shoot. All right. Here's a cool one where we actually have the photographer being photographed herself. I think that's kind of sick. Some sort of big nail header he's holding there. He's got the sledge. That's a neat shop. I don't notice anything like outrageously cool other than that's a photographer taking a getting a fo photo taken as well. So they're documenting how photos are taken. That's pretty cool. Stump. You see uh, the striker has a little, st you know, stand up step stool. That could be for the striker. That could also be for. Um, there's a lot of children working here. Infinity mirror. Yeah. There's a lot of children working in these shops, so. See that later. But very cool. Cool old camera. Well, they have to hold still for a while just to get the thing to work. This is one of my favorites. Not only just because the guy is super cool, there's our first beard small beard I love his apron it's just pieced together little bits of leather I think that's super cool but the anvil anvil is so slick and look at it, whatever they're making is a he's pretty proud of that that's moving a lot of metal if it's all done by hand that was a lot of work no idea the vintage of this no idea it is super super cool. Yeah. Sorry about that. But yeah, it's just one of my favorites. I think it's super cool. Sleeves rolled up. Love the hat. Ambo is just top notch. Stone. Lots of big tongs. So there's probably a power hammer somewhere in here. I would bet. I don't know. I love the wood bucket. The wood pail. With water. Just an awesome photo. Those are some big tongs, right? Probably, probably a power hammer somewhere. But if they're making this stuff this big, I mean, you can. You swage tool up. You can see the scale around the animal. They're definitely doing some hand forging. Here's that... Uh, Clergyman of some sort. Friar. Another photo of that. Pretty cool. Got a chance to do some forging um, in some old forts here in the States. Um, that was kind of looked like this. Kind of gave you that experiment, uh, experience. It was really cool. Fort uh, Zachary Taylor in Key West. It's at the southernmost point of the United States. I did a demos there for a few years, and uh, that was like very, very cool. Not only you're in Key West, which is beautiful, but just to be in an old fort and do forging demos for people was really cool. Don't recommend doing it in the open toes there like that, but I think as we go, you're gonna see a lot of toes exposed in forging. I don't. I think shoes were very rare and uh people rather get their toes burnt a little bit than get their new shoes messed up the bellows on this is super cool not 100 percent sure how you pump it i guess this handle comes back in and 
I can't really tell. I can't really tell how you pump it. But very cool. This sort of little lathe looking thing right here. Oh, it's a little wire wheel on the trough. That's really cool. A little grinding grinding wheel, wire wheel, something like that. Super cool. Love this one. Always wanted to visit QS, yet never have. Oh, you definitely should. I love it. This one, I like to jokingly say this is Derek Kemper from Damsel Fly Forge, but it's not. But This is the best bearded blacksmith photo I think there is. The old farrier. The old Irish farrier looks like there. He looks like he could, he could use his anvil mounted a little high. Love the pipe. Just a really great photo. I don't want to linger on it too long, but it's very, very cool. Can't really tell what's going on in the background. I guess that's a hood. But this is an old photo. Really old. Super cool. I've met a lot of these guys. Lucky to be just old enough that when I was younger and got to travel around with my brother and different people that I got to meet some of these guys still working. Just a different breed they were. <laughs> Love it. Smoking a cigarette. He's got his watch. If you notice, he's got his watch right here on his ankle. Because you didn't want to mess your watch up while you're working. So he put it on his ankle so he could keep track of time. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. That's super cool. These two here, lads. Obviously posing for a photo, so I don't, we don't really know what it is they're doing here, but it's like a chandelier of some sort they're working on. A bunch of chandelier stuff. So doing some ornamental lovely stuff. They almost look Amish, but everyone looked Amish back then. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty cool. Wish we could see more of the process of what they're making. Because that looks like pretty intricate stuff. Yep. Anything else in this photo? Not really. Not really. This is kind of cool. This looks like some sort of school or even just a factory where they're making a ton of horseshoes. You got young guys, older guys. Whatever they're doing, they're doing team striking. Not really striking, but you know. Pretty cool. Not really into farrier stuff. There's going to be a lot of farrier stuff. Cause that's what they did a lot of. This is so cool. I mean, this is... I mean, I would guess these are Chambersburgs. I don't know, but steam-powered hammers, kind of like we got right now. Halfway, like, buried in the ground. Huge ones. Not so huge ones. These forges are just super cool. Look at all these big hammers. One, two, three. At least three big ones. One, two, three. At least three smaller ones, and there's probably some along that row. Would have been... Amazing. I would imagine this could be like Chambersburg itself. I, I, I just don't know enough, but that is just like insanely cool to me. And here we go. This is what I was talking about before. Young men. So older men could afford shoes, right? Because their feet didn't keep going but young men shoes are precious so they got these guys these boys out here learning how to forge no shoes see there's clearly water on the ground that's just wild huh I've had enough metal shards up in my feet to know that <laughs> yikes and you know he's just learning pretty neat pretty standard I forge in nails Little hand crank. Little bicycle in the background somewhere. 
Oh no, that's not a bicycle. It's yeah, it's not a bicycle. This doesn't look that old. This is probably 60s. Yeah. Hmm. This guy looks like he's shocked. Like he's upset he chose that pose to hold for a minute straight. <laughs> I love the tie, though. Different era, man. They had a hell of style, man. Now we're all t-shirts and crap. So I have our tech. We're just going through some old photos. Uh, just basically having a good time. Looking at some photos from like 18, late 1800s, early 1900s. Just kind of taking a look at what they're making, how they're doing it. Look at the tooling in the background, stuff like that. It's fun. Feel free to just pipe up with any questions or comments. I'd be worried about shots of hot steel. Them boys had zero PPE. Yeah, PPE was not a thing. Here's the bellows. Here's the handle. Old bellows are super cool if you ever get to see them. It's like real neat technology. Did make them stronger. The predecessor to the old hell that I got. This, I mean, these are hell hammers. These are water wheel drawn uh, hell hammers. Just like top notch cool stuff. I wish I knew more about what exactly they were doing. Whatever it is, they got the tongs on and they got their tong rings shoved on hard so that they're clamped down. And uh, yeah. Just trees. Just trees. Power hammers. Anybody says, oh, there's no power hammers back in the day. Well, here you go. Power hammers. Pretty incredible. This is also super, super incredible. A-frame hammers. Guy standing under it as they run it. You see one dude's holding like a bottom die. This guy's holding the top die. He's got like leather dripped on his one arm. So he probably don't get burnt. And this is just huge hot steel. Whatever it is they're forging. Probably uh, like a forklift kind of thing operating over here. This is just epic. You can go see some of this stuff still. Uh, you see no beards. No beards. This is kind of cool. We don't we don't have our isotunes, <laughs> I uh, earpods. You know, in these days, this is all you want music in the shop. You're singing it, which is kind of wild just to think about. Yep, this guy probably came and brought his horse to get reshoed, and these guys decided to have a coffee break in between heats and. Play some music. Those are some sick hammers. Did I miss something? Oh, yeah. Those power hammers. Yeah. This I thought was really cool. So this is a chain making facility. And you can see it's mostly women. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe even... I think seven. Seven women, three men. Definitely no beards here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They got all got their little workstations and they're just making chain. It seems so mundane. We just all go to Home Depot and buy chain these days. But back in the day, you had to make your chain. Really cool. I just, I think this stuff is super cool. They look super thrilled. <laughs> this one's pretty neat. Let me zoom back out. It's a bigger photo. So this is LAFD, so probably Los Angeles Fire Department, or you know, could be Louisiana Fire Department. I don't know. Either way, it's Fire Department, and you can see they got a little traveling forge, a little traveling anvil, and they're just going around and. Probably going to each firehouse and refitting all the horses, doing the farrier work. <laughs> Super cool. They look happy. Yeah, I know, right? So yeah, no beards, but we got a mustache. Very cool. It's a lovely photo. 
Here we are with the young lads again. Without any shoes. This is much rougher flooring. Anvil's mounted really low. It's kind of cool. Rocksmithing has always been... I don't think they're really hard at work as much as they are just having fun. Making stuff. This is... Uh, Awesome to remember that we should all still have fun. Very cool. Not much to comment. But need to see the the no shoes aspect. I don't think I'm gonna try that. This is a pretty awesome photo too. Can't really see what that says. Well, it says somebody's name. Maybe Susan Rutherland, Richardson. I don't know. We got the deer hanging in the background. It looks like a Vulcan amble, which is odd. Pretty cool. That's one of the first aprons I saw that's not just waist high. It's got all the way up. Reminds me of my wife. Photos fire. You talking about this one? It's really cool. I'll post a link to this so you guys can save some of these if you want. This one's really cool. Not something you see every day. Literally the sidecar of this motorcycle is a forge. And he's driving around and looks like making horseshoes i'm not positive but that is epic i love it can't really get a good look at his anvil but you wouldn't need much love the hats once again aprons just waist high he's got the pants that stop right here this is actually early man a motorcycle, but <laughs> nice second. It. I like this. It's cool. Boys is hanging out, smoking a pipe. Looks like this was kind of a staged photo. With how clean the wall is, like they pulled an anvil out and said, "Hey, boys, pretend you're looking like you're doing stuff," and you know. Looks very staged, probably for a magazine or a newspaper. But that's cool. Notice how he's holding the sledge. They do that the, the reverse way of sledging. It's not like how we swing hammers today. That is a sexy amble. Double horn. Got your blower up here and pipes in to whatever forge and just a really nice, really nice hammer, uh, anvil. No beards again. Super cool. This one's pretty neat. You see the bellows? Most of these bellows are pretty gone by today. Just because they're made out of leather and they just rot away. But this is really neat. Yeah, they cranked up that forge and... Got a picture. Very cool. <laughs> Brick floor. But here's like here again, you know, anvil stump or something next to it hold the tools just like horseshoeing as well once again no shoes whatever this guy's doing this is much much later i would assume this looks like well i don't know could still be 30 40s but no shoes on the young man i assume man i don't know Waist high leather. This 
one's kind of funny. The marriage room. The old anvil over which marriages are performed. Oh. That was tradition for a long time, actually. You would get married over anvils and do the old ringing of the anvil. I think it's, like, I know this guy's Scottish, but I think it is a, very much so a Scottish thing, but that is definitely not a Scottish anvil. Pretty cool. Yee hee Love this one like, once again. I just like, we always think of these old, uh, you know, health hammer, like trip hammers like this as being so massive. But you can see they got big ones, they got small ones, and what they're doing is actually making steel buckets. Which is pretty neat. I've actually watched a whole lecture on how they did this or how we, we don't know, but we are starting to understand that they forged, they stacked a bunch of sheets of metal and then form the buckets all stacked and then unstack them later. Um, pretty pretty neat to see this kind of going. But they're making buckets that would then get trimmed. And you had to make your steel pail somehow. And that's how they were doing it. And these might even be copper. There's a lot of copper ones. Mexico. Very, 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 very cool. Looks stout like the Irish. Which one are you talking? Not sure what you're talking about. Yeah, that was just top-notch, super cool photo. Top-notch. Young man here. But Bucket-making facility with health hammers. Just very cool. Yeah, this one's kind of cool. There's not much to say here. Don't see anything too great, but it's still a cool photo. She's bringing her man some tea, it looks like. Looks like German. There's our old stout lady again. What a cool forge. Love it. Notice her shoes. Like a pair of Ilya's shoes. This one's pretty cool. The old line shaft room. So you got all these different machines running off of line shafts. 1924. It says right here in the bottom right. Just really, really cool. Just love everything about this. I love old line shaft stuff be a dream to have a room with just some line shaft tools we have some but it... yeah just think this is really cool very very cool one of them's got no shoes one does I don't know what the no shoes thing is that's scary pretty cool at first I thought this was a guy taking a nap let me go back yeah no beards Guy taking a nap, but no, he's studying over probably blueprints that somebody gave him. Some engineer said, hey, I need a bunch of these. Can you do it? And he's looking over it. Or it could simply be a newspaper, which is probably more likely that he's taking a break and reading the newspaper. What do you think? Newspaper or blueprints? See this fold right here? Looks newspapery. Legs crossed, kind of chilling. I don't know. What do you guys think? Newspaper or blueprints? I think I'm changing my mind and going newspaper. Great photo. Kind of rough, small, but cool shop. Found this one to be interesting. There's a bunch of guys wearing white <coughs> old time magazine. Could be. But this guy right here is using a big tap and die to tap something. So he's making big bolts of some sort. He's cranking, they're forging, he's kind of just watching. 
pretty neat little hand crank uh, grinding wheel wheel grinding stone right there just to deburst stuff Some kids forging, finally with shoes on. That's really cool, making, see he's making a ring, probably making, I don't know. Well, it looks like this is what they're making right here. You see the little progression boards, they even did them back then. Nothing new under the sun. Very cool. Seems like it's clearly out of school. That was the early version of Votech, probably. They got the full aprons on here. Protect their school unis. Bold color choices, yeah. Now this is interesting, right? It says the Butte Blacksmiths and Welders Union. And when we're talking about beards, I don't see any. <laughs> All Jesse Savage style must mustaches. I don't see a single beard. Oh, there's one. Where's Waldo? I found it. <laughs> this is really cool. Self titled blacksmith. This looks like also some sort of school. And this looks like it was done for some sort of advertisement. And you can see the technique they used. I don't know if you know this, but they would actually take photos and then they would take white markers, basically like chalk markers, and draw the outlines of things with them. They would get washed out. Like these anvils all are drawn. See these white lines? As if it's just the sun glare, but it's not. They take them. You can see this slightly drawn here. These things would get washed out black things would get washed out so they would just use a, a little highlighter if you will and just highlight the stuff's in the image sorry I know most of we're supposed to be talking about blacksmithing but I love photography and all that t jazz too so you see even here on this vice it's obviously has some touch up very cool very very cool I say it's a school system. It could be a factory. I don't know. Kids worked back then. Let's zoom out on this. See what it is. Uh, old factory. See some sort of power hammer here. Like steam powered something. Really cool old long hammers. Look at the amble base. It's super slick. Super slick. Really love the Amble base. Oh, guy. Kids forging in shoes. They must have been wealthy. Looks like this is like a wood lathe. I like these old cast forge bases. Bases at Amble bases. Forge base. Yeah. Pretty cool. This is a neat photo. Blacksmithing secrets. Screw eye protection, right? Guy heating up a big old piece and hitting it. Eesh. Definitely neat. Looks like these these fellows are making. Bells or vessels? I'm not really sure. These are sheet metal shears, I think. This is like a big tap and die. But so I'm not really sure. It's kind of a staged photo, but looks like they're making these big vessels or maybe even bells. Really neat. Young men doing hard work. Oof. 
Love this. Let's see what we can see. I really love the industrial look of the forges. We got killer swage blocks with cast stands. These guys are over here tapping bolts, so they're probably forging bolts. This guy's forging some sort of O-ring, some seal or something. These guys are forging bolts all day. They're tapping the bolts. Imagine back then if you just were the guy that were hand tapping all the bolts. Oh, you know what? This could be. No, probably not. Maybe. No, I don't know. It would just be a wild assumption, but... They got natural gas induction heaters up here. Not induction, but natural gas. Radiant heat. Oh, this is much later, but super, super cool. Let's see, does it say anything? I'm, I'm guessing this is 40s. I had to guess. There's a beard. There's another beard. These old dudes. Wood floor barn. Look at that cone mandrel. Look at the size of this cone mandrel. Ah, the cone mandrel. A tool everybody wants, but no one uses. Pretty neat. Kids with shoes. Neat. Really cool little shop here. Doing a little bit of everything. Don't see anything really of note. Oh, they're doing ornamental fence work and like... Okay, this is a high-end shop. So this guy's probably got apprentices that... Yeah, he's doing serious work. Workhouses.org. Blacksmith shop, World War One Farrier, Sergeant Thornton, and Stryker also once again. <laughs> yep. Zoom out. Cool. Not sure what he's doing. Milan. In the 1890s. Shoeing up some old booger. This is cool. Big industrial building. Looks like a school. It could be just a factory. I don't know. It's a little clean for a factory. It's probably a school. Tech ed class. Guys going to town on something super hot. You can see the steam and everything coming off the anvil. Really like this one. No beards again. Some sort of military setup. Really like the vice stand. Of all these cast bases are really cool. This is on a naval ship as well. I'm not sure where. Let's see if it says no. Big old gaudy amble. I'm just wailing on that big piece of steel. <laughs> Wild. Oh, I didn't think this would take this long. We're almost at an hour already. Engineering school for horseshoeing, blacksmithing, Washington Barracks, D.C. No kidding. Right in my backyard. Bunch of animals, horseshoes. Very cool. Super cool. Amber looks. Hmm. No, it's all good. This is a nice clean photo. Once again, these are probably look like military or state police.
barriers. Which is cool. It's like some sort of sailors not on a boat though. Making chain. Or I see chain. I would assume they're making chain. I don't know. This is wild. I don't really understand. It looks like a propane forge. Just doesn't seem like it should be there. <laughs> I don't know. By the way, if you guys are still here with me, I just put out a three minute cut on this channel of making Wolf's Gravestone. And I would highly appreciate if you guys would go watch it. It's three minutes. I'm trying to build this channel up to where we can do more live streams, get it monetized, actually, like. Pay for my time. I pay for an editor full time. Stuff like that it would be really great. Really, really, really great. So, watch some of those videos. Alright. We're almost done, I think. Another naval ship. It says blacksmithing on board the USS Vicksburg in 1917. This seems so long. That's more than 100 years ago. Oh, darn. Look at that. Super cool. These are neat. These forges all pack up in the box. Boom, 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 boom. And they're a box and you take them anywhere. Chris has had a few of them. This is cool. I don't really know much about it. It looks like they're making chain. Can't really tell. This is kind of cool. Not necessarily blacksmithing, but wartime women did a lot of the welding my men were at war they still do all, some of the best welders are women but and all their coverings and having a smoke break it's a really cool old photo i love this it should be like a hallmark card time gone past this old man looks like Ilya. Oh, that's wild. It's like this was drawn in. This is drawn in. So it's probably all washed out and overexposed, so they drew the detail back in. Here we go. La Forge à uh, Merus Pilons Brookings. Once again, doing uh, big hell of hammers. Super cool. Basically, all wood. Can't really tell what they're doing. Looks like they're just making sheet. Can't really tell. Super cool though. <laughs> Old family photo. Making chain. Got the young one out here learning how to make chain already. Making piles and piles of chain. Cool bellows. Working hard. I love it. going on here there's a beard making horseshoes together it looks like I don't really know <laughs> look at this though I don't know if I can get zoomed in enough <clears throat> look at this amble about to fall off straps teetering it from falling off wild is this labeled no clearly posed but still oh it's the first amble stand I saw this early where you see a lot of guys make their ammo stands out of four by fours. I've always poo pooed on it, saying it's lame. But here's some precedence right here. I guess they did that. I mean, they're not four by fours. They're probably two by sixes. But same idea. I like this one. <laughs> I 
looks like my little girl, grumpy mama. It has an awesome health. Look at that thing. It shows the water wheel running it, and it's like even a saw over here of some sort. <laughs> Engineering geniuses they were. Oh, this is a great picture. Blacksmithing on a battleship's foredeck. A lot of these chains we all collect now because they're made out of rot. Here they are, on the deck, smithing away. I love it. I'm not sure what they're making. That swage is killer. This is awesome. Any VW fans out there? Look at this. <laughs> you got your propane tank and your propane forge in the car. Nothing safer than driving around with a propane tank. This all probably packs up in the front because these are rear engine cars. I guess that makes it a little less dangerous being rear, en rear engined. I'm just traveling around doing horseshoeing. That was probably the wildest one. <laughs> There's the old phone number you can call if you need some horseshoeing. 969-7181. Another traveling horseshoeing gig. This, they got a decent truck. That would be really cool to have. Big old wire wheel. This guy's a locksmith, it says. You gotta be able to forge some stuff and move material around if you're a locksmith. This is a wild photo. I think these are all three women. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I don't know what's behind them, honestly, but it's very cool. The women are working harder than you boys. This is neat. I've said this many times that for an amble, all you need is a tiny little surface. You see this tiny little surface in between all these little sticks that they're working on. No shoes here. Oh, yeah, there's shoes, sandals. The old H frame steam hammer. Look at that thing. Not to be outdone. Look at this. <sighs> I don't even know. Forging old crankshafts for battleships or something. This is intense. It looks like something from Lord of the Rings, like in the Dwarven Caves. It looks like we couldn't possibly have anything like that, but it's just a big old age frame. Wild. A young lad and his father, probably. Nice amble. This one's kind of creepy. <laughs> Look at that amble, though. Sweet. It's Italian sort of a pig. I always think this one's wild. Oh, the guy's doing super hard work right here, and this guy's clearly like the inspector, or probably the owner of the forge, like just being in the photo for just posing for some magazine or whatever it is for paper article. Look, I do work too. See, they've got chains, and that's how they're controlling the material. Crazy. That's super cool. Little steam hammer. Big old H frame.
wild. Making big old chain. Look at this. This looks insane. If I can zoom out, it says it's from. No, it doesn't say. Look at this. What are they even making? So, over here they have the forges. Big crane that swings over the material. Look how many animals they have lined up. One, two, three, four, at least five in this one building. Insane. I have... Uh, this is crazy. I love this stuff. Look at this shit. Sweet Mario. Crazy. Blacksmith shop. $18.99. Three Portland prisons. Blacksmith's convicts. I did hear something about that. I thought about one of the earlier photos photos being convicts that they did a lot of blacksmithing makes sense <laughs> really cool sir we'd like to see you fold yes sir but tell you who indeed look at that animal <laughs> There's some lathes, some wood lathes, obviously, with the work rests. They could be spinning as well, I don't know. Really cool. Ooh. Zoom out. Like making scrolls, probably doing some sort of fencing or gate work see like we meet see some sketches he's got over here on the wall with chalk some dimensioning ideas for railings pretty cool oh man we can bury a lot there this is a cool one This right here is something I wanted to point out. So, I've said for years people like talk about how big their anvil needs to be and blah, blah, blah. And I've always said all you really need is two hammers. You need one hammer to be your anvil and one to be your hammer. This guy's demonstrating that right here. Look, one hammer. He's got his foot on the handle. Right? And he's forging with the other hammer. That's all you need. You need the surface to be at least as big as your hammer surface. Magnify that force back. And this is their forge. Literally some tubes. This lady's got a bag. She's probably just using a bag and pumping like that to put force air in and get some of this material warm and hot and so they can forge it. That's it. No excuses. No shoes forging there. I thought this one's kind of cool. It looks like a little giant. <laughs> Guy and his little girl. I assume girl. I don't know. Very cool. Chris, if you're watching, it's pretty neat right there. Cool shot. Cool dupes. There's the beard. What's this one say? Blacksmith Shop Schaefer Brothers Log Company. Brandy. Kentucky, maybe? KN? Brady, Kentucky? Doesn't. Oh, does it say item 106B or does it say 1968? 1868? I don't know what this says. Nah, it's got to be 19, because that's a power hammer sitting right there in the middle. Yeah, 
That's the backside of like a little giant style power hammer. Big boy. Actually gonna save that. Sitting saving some of these. Oh. Hold on. Crap. I was almost done. I think I was almost done. I don't think I was almost done. Good God. A lot of photos. I don't want this video to be too long, though. Maybe we'll do a part two. Or we'll just start cranking through them if you guys are okay with that. Wow, there are a lot more. Oh, no, here we are. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Here we go. Okay, we're there. Women and men working together. Not sure what this is. Big old animal. Look at that thing. Look at that animal. Ladies forging? Is that the same one? That might be the same one. Hat on, hat off. Awesome. Shoeing. Who knows? Who knows? I'm just gonna stop if they're cool ones. I love this guy's hat. It's Russian. It's a really nice crisp photo. It's gotta be kinda late. Smoking a shiggy. Finally, a couple bearded fellas. One, two. Power hammer. Very cool. This is a punch press slash shear. So maybe an old school iron worker. This is super nice. Steam hammer. I don't know enough about them to tell you if it's a Chambersburg or Bennett or whatever, but. Very cool. Blue mount. It's cool how this is lit. Like there's a light right here behind it. Back to the locksmith guy. Am I going the wrong way? I don't think so. I think that's just a duplicate. That is a killer forge. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but that is so freaking cool. Factory? Another epic factory? Forges are neat. The big pedestals from underneath. West Virginia. What's that say? Regional History Collection. West Virginia. Ooh, look at this. This is so sexy. Not really sure what's going on here, but... They're making chain. I would assume... I don't know what this is. Looks like big scissors. the flat belts I don't really know what's going on here but there's ambles these are big four post press presses hydraulic presses look at these troughs these troughs are so sweet the rivets alright I said we'd roll through it we're trying these hammers are cool What they're making? This big, what is that? Ooh, we. Other side of the factory. Look at these hammers. So 
so cool. Pumping the bellows, using a fly press slash drill something. Kids fixing holes in the floors. <laughs> Fifty, it says. Oh, look at that coat. So cool. It's like an old animal. This is a cool one. I don't really understand it. I'm guessing they just put those chains on her. For good? I don't think that's looking good for her. Nobody's happy in this photo. Looks like Ilya. Any chick does. <laughs> awesome photo. Wagon wheel stuff. They could heat those wagon wheels up, then put them on, let them shrink on tight onto the wood. Ooh, the blacksmith. Yes, he's like my animal. A little bigger. Frag shell. This is cool. I love these little, love these little animals. <laughs> little traveling bellows with his forge and his little anvil and... What else do you need? Right there. Portraits of two smiths at work in their own shop unknown. That's a big wagon wheel probably. V chain guy, Jan, Jan Van Dam, Damelian, Damelin, Jan Van Dalmelin. This is so crisp, this photo right here. Wild. This Virginia again. on this yeah, those ones killing mantle there power, power hammer iron forgings where are they these gents is the thumbnail I used I really don't know too many blacksmiths that look like that. <laughs> There's some. These two. They're in a couple of these photos. Happy old man teaching this young guy. Look at this animal. Super cool. Dog head. Real dog head hammer. Making a chain. Probably husband and wife? I don't know. No? Military maybe? Not sure. Look at this. This is probably the coolest thing ever. Deserves a whole thing talking about it. Might do a YouTube short on this. So here we can see that we have a dog powered, basically water wheel, but it's a dog wheel that is powering all the driven equipment probably has a little looks like he's got a little like punch press looking thing there probably also powers the bellows this is one of the coolest things i've ever seen and that pupper is just chilling on the wheel 
I've never seen this before. That is super cool. That's a good popper. Ingenuity. This is amazing. I don't have any information for this, but these are top notch gate work. You can see it's just amazing ornamental iron work, power hammer in the back, Maisel looks like, Maisel here. This could be this could be something to do with yelling. I don't know. Look at these anvils. Bellows. Chain making with an actual chain maker's anvil. <laughs> Not something you see every day. I should have broken this up. This looks like they're actually either making leg vices, these are leg vice pieces, or they're using the material from old leg vices to make other things. These are plated. Not really good. How happy that guy is. Intro de la Forche. And we're back. All right. The original Plankster. All right, we did it. Ugh. We did it. Ooh wee. go ahead and wrap it up there i just want to say i appreciate you guys i've got big exciting news in just a couple days i've been releasing the first main video we've done a brand new build on the main channel youtube.com slash that works uh haven't done one in a while after the hack and all that jazz that went down so this is a big build this is an important build i really hope you guys tune back in and that will it's supposed to drop in the next two or three days so keep looking for it i'm really excited to do more live streams here so tell your friends it should be awesome let's do some more i appreciate you go watch that uh three minute build that i just put up on this channel and what other news we got uh, i got the the winter holiday sale going on on that works dot shop okay i said that it would be done by christmas day i'm gonna leave it up until the new year i think but I'm not going to advertise it anymore. So if you happen to stumble across some really nice prices, we got file handles. We got stabilized wood. There is an amazing bladesmithing engraved uh, wrought iron hammer that I made. There is, uh, what else do we got? I said file handles. There's a really nice custom knife. There's a bunch of different stuff up there on the website at very dis discounted prices. So go check those out. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to head on out of here. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Go follow me on Twitch as well. That is twitch.tv slash stalkertron. And we're going to be doing more and more stuff. This is, like I said, this is my gaming stream setup. But we're going to do, uh, I, I'm making a new studio specifically for filming on this channel. So hopefully it's worth it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, oh well. We're going to do more of them. It's going to be fun. Thanks. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like this video. It helps out. And comment down below if you got ideas for other live streams. Help me out. Sometimes I run out of ideas for live streams, so I don't think about that so much. But, yeah. See you guys later. Have a great day. Happy New Year. And happy holidays. Merry Christmas. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.